Oh my! <laughs> it looks like you're making dinner. What are we having? Mushrooms. Oh, I love mushrooms, but I've heard some of them are dangerous. Hey fellow Eco Geeks, I am here taking over the channel once again because I wanna talk about deadly mushrooms. Now Rob and I, we love to grow and eat mushrooms. And one of the first things you have to learn if you like to do that is how to identify deadly mushrooms so you don't eat them and die. So I went on a hunt for deadly mushrooms. And to do that, I decided to contact a mycologist at Clemson, Trad Cotter, and get the lowdown. You have to look at the entire mushroom to know what it is. We have to get up and try to find the bottom of this mushroom here. And some of the poisonous and some of the deadly mushrooms have a very unique base here. In particular, Trad is talking about the structure of Amanita mushrooms. So we did some more looking and found one. Very carefully chip away. And you're not gonna hurt the mushroom or the tree doing this. You see that whole structure that was below the ground? Yeah. It's actually called a cup and this stem sits down in this little cup. And that's an easy identification for an Amanita. So if we take this one back to the lab and look through some field guides, uh, we'll find that this one's related to the deadly mushroom. Now, I just want to point out that there are many deadly mushrooms, but Amanitas are the worst in this area. Here are the top three. Amanita verna, the fool's mushroom. Amanita verosa, the destroying angel. And Amanita phylloides, the death cap. All of these mushrooms contain potent amatoxins that can kill you within a day or two by destroying your liver and your kidneys. It's a terrible way to die. I don't recommend it. It's a very good reason to just avoid Amanitas in general unless you are a very skilled mushroom hunter. Other deadly mushrooms I was keen to find were the web caps, the Cortinaria species, and the skull caps, aka the deadly gallerinas, two little brown mushrooms or LBMs. Neither of these we actually found on our trip though, so Trad took us back to his house to show us the most common poisonous mushroom in North America. These are called green spored parasols. And they're called green spored parasols because they have green spores. Some mushrooms that are edible look just like this. So it's always good to go out with someone who's a, a experienced mushroom hunter before ever eating a mushroom in the wild. So we've seen that some mushrooms are poisonous and some of them are edible, like the ones on my pizza here that contain lots of good nutrients. But did you know that fungi play an important role in the life cycle of our planet? Let's find out how. We learned from Trad that mushrooms have root systems just like trees. These root systems are called mycelium, and that's how mushrooms get water and other nutrients. Mushrooms feed on uh, organic matter, like leaves and uh, shells and wood. And what they do is they, they turn it back into soil so more plants can grow into the soil. So they're recyclers. So we've seen mushrooms acting as decomposers in the forest, turning all that organic material back into dirt. But today, Trad is going to show us how to use that same principle to recycle our home waste. Uh, the easiest way to recycle paper and cardboard from your house is to use a five gallon bucket and to separate your, your trash before it goes into the a garbage can. So the mushrooms use this for food and eventually they will produce mushrooms and turn this into soil that you can put back into your garden. So we can start by flattening these egg cartons like this. We'll wet them down. Okay. Let you hold it like that. All nice and wet. You just throw it in the bucket? Yep. All the way to the bottom. All right, bottom. Sprinkle it with your spawn just a little bit. Just like you're sprinkling salt on there. Like that? That's it. And we just keep we we'll just keep adding layers. This is a bucket that we've been letting sit for just a couple weeks. So we filled it up with our cardboard okay. and our mushroom spawn. And when we check back in a couple weeks, <laughs> look what we have in there. Everything looks so different. The, the spawn that we put in has started to decompose and feed on our cups. Look at that, that's a, that's a cup with a waxy surface and it's breaking all this down. So we've seen how beneficial mushrooms are in nature and to people. I wonder what helpful things we'll discover about mushrooms in the future. 
So until next time, never stop exploring your world. Thank you everyone for watching that short. We filmed some of that almost 10 years ago. I cannot believe it's been 10 years. And we are re-releasing it this week for Mushroom Week. So you can check out the other videos here. You can check out our other channels here. And if you'd like to support the science outreach that Rob and I do every day, you can do that right here via Patreon. All right, see you next time.